Hello, so this is my video on logistic differential equations. Um, sorry if I sound sick right now. I am sick. But yeah, here's my video on logistic differential equations. So right here are just some key points about the topic. Um, we know that lo logistic differential equations grow quickly and then they, care they level off to a carrying capacity. And the rate of change is proportional to the present amount, the difference between the amount and the carrying capacity. Right here we have a graph of what um, differential equations look like. So right here, the dotted line represents the carrying capacity that um, the amount levels off to. To the right um, of the point of inflection, the growth rate begins to decrease. And to the left the, of the point of inflection, the growth rate is steadily increasing, and then it decreases to the right. Um, here are two ways that differential equation, logistic differential equations are typically written. Um, right here, the K is an unknown. The y is the dependent variable, and the m is the carrying capacity. It can also be written like this, and this is how the solution is written. So, on to an example. So, the example says the rate of change, dp over dt, of the number of people entering a state park is modeled by a logistic differential equation. The capacity is 2,500 people. At a certain time, the number of people in the park is 1,200 people, and it's increasing at a rate of 100 people per hour. Create a differential equation that could represent this situation. So, we are going to use one of the models right here. And I'll write that down. We'll use dp over dt equals k over l times y over l minus y. And the l is the same thing as the m um, in the previous video, or previous paper. So then we will fill in our blanks. So we have dp over dt equals k, which is our unknown. And our l represents our carrying capacity. In this case, is 2,500 times p and then once again our carrying capacity minus p p and y interchangeable um so like i said this is our carrying capacity and then we are able to plug in our rate of change our dp dt is the same as the 100 people coming in those are proportional, and our P is equal to the 1,200, the number of people in the park. So now we can go ahead and fill that in. So we'll have 100 equals K over 2,500, and then times 1,200 that is then time multiplied by 2500 minus 1200 from here we will then solve for k which i'm not going to walk through that but in the end we get k equals 25 over 156 and that is our answer for that Moving on to the second part of this example, it says find a carrying capacity for dy over dt equals 4 fifths times y minus 1 over 150y squared. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for L, the carrying capacity, or M, either one is fine. Um, so we want to switch this into one of these forms so we're going to switch it into this form right here and we're going to go ahead and do that right now so that we want to switch this to ky one minus y over l and then that will become four fifths y times one minus one one twentieth times y 
and from here we can just see that L in 120 in the same spot. So now we can just see by comparing the um, setups that L equals 120 and that is the carrying capacity.